This video is brought to you by the British Broadcasting Corporation. Would you like more teas and biscuits with that? Greetings, I am Nigel Flabberbottom, and I will be presenting an invasive marine species known as the Chinese Mitten Crab, which is also referred to as the Erochia Sinesis. I, I think I got it. I share Sinesis. The life cycle for the crab begins after its parents migrate from freshwater to the ocean to breed. The larvae hatch between winter and early summer and will stay in marine environments until they are two years old, where they become juveniles. During this stage, they will migrate towards freshwater habitats such as lakes or rivers. When they become adults, they spend two to five years in freshwater until they return to salt waters to breed. Thus concluding their circle of life. For preferred habitats, larvae tend to be on the upper levels of the ocean, letting the currents drift them from place to place. When juveniles, they prefer smaller channels of slow-moving freshwater, and as adults, they live in the bottom banks of freshwater until they need to breed and head back toward the ocean. Adults can be 3 to 4 inches in length and appear to have either a light brown or olive color appearance. The Chinese mitten crab is well known for its mitten-like claws, which are actually covered by brown hair-like structures known as seta. They are also unique for having 8 walking legs instead of having a pair of swimming legs, which can be twice as long as its upper shell. The mitten crab was native to Southeast Asia until a vessel accidentally transferred a few of them towards San Francisco in 1992. That didn't go so well. The crabs would soon invade other states in North America a couple of years later, such as Oregon and Michigan. Yes. During this time, they would also invade European countries, particularly Germany. Yeah. The main vectors that helped them invade other countries was from improper disposing of the species or from ballast water that ships release into the ocean. Of course, as an invasive species, they have negatively altered their new environments. The crabs are well known for causing erosion in the banks due to their excessive burrowing. They are also known for wiping out fields of crops, mainly rice. They also consume a wide variety of plants and animals such as algae, macrophytes, invertebrates, and also consume fish carcasses. Millions of dollars are spent by the mitten crab interfering with water facility and oil pumping operations, as well as eating away expensive fish nets when they are caught as bycatch. Many countries, originally planned by Germany, tried to control the species by placing traps on the upsides of dams to capture juvenile crabs migrating towards the freshwater streams. Many Asian countries also consider the Chinese mitten crab as a dish. Many North American states would create their own sets of laws that try to slow the spread of the mitten crab. An example will be from the California Code of Regulation, which illegalizes the import, transport, or possession of live Chinese mitten crab. No. If anyone discovers an unwanted mitten crab, they are required by law to either kill it or keep it frozen until further notice by the authorities. Thus, we conclude our topic on the invasive Chinese mitten crab. I am Nigel Flabberbottom, and if you happen to spot one, kill. Cool.